Okay, welcome back here. Uh, this is uh, what I've been waiting on getting done. I finally got my everything hooked up today. Uh, got all my duct work run this morning, and uh, I just now got all my my two blower motors uh, hooked up. Uh, there is one little tiny thing that I, that I haven't done yet, and I'm just waiting on a piece uh, right here on one of my blower motors. Of course, I put an inline fuse goes right to the motor. That way to protect it but uh i didn't have another one but uh i do have one coming on the way today so it won't take me but just uh about a minute to hook it up but i do have my snap discs wired in here uh have a one switch for each motor and one snap disc for each motor uh this is just the manual side my heaters are done cooled down so i really can't the snap discs do work. I used the ohm meter, so my snap discs were closed earlier. So, uh, but this is just the manual side. And the manual side to another motor. But, uh, yeah, the. That's a snap disc. Of course, the, my box is done cooled down and the snap disc is open, so snap disc is not working right now until it gets hot, but uh, they do work. I've done test them out. The only downfall that I've done with this, and I don't know why I've done this, but I, I wished I had them now, but maybe next year I'll change all this duct work. Everything in here is four inch. Uh, but everything out sorry just, just the duct work itself it is six inches uh all my duct going to my boxes is six inch but yet again the holes in there's four inches going in and out of the box so the only downfall is uh when you do turn this on you really can't uh the air coming into the house you really can't feel it blowing hard uh, like you did if you if I downsized it back to four inch, which I wished I'd done it, but the duct that I wanted in four inches, uh, it's kind of hard to find. And uh, a guy told me he put it on back order, and I didn't know he didn't know when I'd get it, so I just went ahead and went with the six inch duct because of the 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 black plastic wrap that it had on it, different from what I used last year, a whole lot better. But the four inch, I, I didn't know when I was going to get it, so I just went ahead and went with the six inch. But, like I said, when I turn this on, on the highest setting, you can barely feel it coming through, so I'm not really for sure if that's going to be efficient or not. That's a bad thing about it. Uh, you really can't hardly feel it coming through uh, but everything is hooked up it's just having a hard time I guess with the bigger duct outside just having a harder time getting it out to the box and back out but uh, same way with this one that one I can feel a little bit more but I think the reason this is my this side over here this is my old heater uh, like I've shown in a previous video some of my cans they wind up coming loose from the header so I'm thinking maybe that's the reason why but this one right here all my cans are sealed to the header so I got so I know there's no air flowing into the box itself but this one right here uh, uh, just about all the cans have come loose from the top header so that is something definitely I'll have to fix next year uh, I wish I could have done it this year, but I really didn't have the time. So uh, that's my setup for right now. Uh, like I said, the only thing I got to do is just finish putting a uh, uh, inline fuse in here, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, when I know the next uh, cool day. Of course, we still got fairly few days. It's going to be pretty warm, but uh, I will get uh, next pretty cold day we get I will get a test done on these two which I'm thinking my old heater right here 
if I do stick my temperature probe in there I'm probably not going to really get real good accurate readings so it's like I said it's really not blowing in here like it should like this one over here is but uh, I'll just get my temperature probe set up and I did buy this is the one I used last year uh, I just went ahead and bought another one just like it it really doesn't uh, it doesn't peak out very high it's got a real low peak setting on it but same chart or same uh, temp probe that I used last year uh, I will have one for each of my heaters so I can because I because I'm really uh, anxious to see because this one over here is my new the new heater hookup right here I'm really anxious to see what kind of temperatures this one puts out because uh, yesterday when I was putting my duct in uh, on the top of the box I had a uh, I stuck the extension cord I'm using for my snap disc. Uh, I wadded up and stuck it inside the vent, and it was in there for about a half an hour. Of course, it was pretty warm outside, but when I reached in there after I got my uh, vent, uh, the little adapters put in there like I wanted, I reached in there to grab the extension cord and I actually burnt my finger. So I mean that thing got extremely hot. So uh, I'm really excited to see what kind of temps I get out of this thing. So uh, next cool day we got, uh, I'll get some tests run on this and uh, see what we got from there. Thanks for watching. Oh, and these are the, uh, as far as these chargers go, these are the exact same ones I used last year. Uh, like I said, I've got one for each motor, so and these did come from Arbor Freight and they, uh, if anybody wants to know what the item number is it's a uh, 66783 these are very excellent they got uh, actually it's a uh, eight speeds you got your uh, a charge side but it's got six volt and it's got three different 12 volt settings one for float charge fast charge engine start which is your high speed but uh, these are very nice uh, Thanks for watching.